Okay, Google. Turn on TV. Okay, turning on the bedroom TV. Okay, Google. Turn off the TV. You got it. Turning the bedroom TV off. For this video, our problem is we're going to turn on a TV. So this TV um, I have inherited from one of my friends. Uh, Rico, if you're listening, shout out to you. Um, so when I got this TV, this did not have a remote on it. Um, so basically, this just resides in our bedroom. We just watch a few minutes of news every now and then. And every time we want to watch this, we go and turn on the power by hitting the power button, which is on this side of the TV. So I looked behind the TV for the model and then did some searches for what kind of uh, IR codes this particular TV uses. And uh, I uh, could not find any that I could use. I even uh, went through all the different selections in a Harmony 630 remote to try to find if I could control this TV through the remote, but I wasn't successful. So the next solution is open up the TV. Um, so I open up the TV and here this is actually after taking the shell out, there's just a push button for the power. And I did some probing and found that uh, the top part of the push button is connected to 3.3 volts um, using a resistor. And then there is a sense of the logic board that actually looks for what is um, the voltage at this particular point. So the moment you hit this button, what happens is it closes the connection and this particular sense reads ground. So this uh, the other end of the push button is connected to ground. So that is how it determines that you press this button and turns on the TV. So what we're going to do is now we're going to use ESP8266 to do this for us. Um, so in this case, I'm going to use a 2N222 uh, transistor and connect the base uh, using 300 ohms to one of the pins in ESP8266, connect the top part to here and the bottom part to here. So when I want to turn on using ESP8266, what I do is I can give a high signal that is 3.3 volt signal to the base. And what that will do is that will conduct this particular transistor to ground. So basically this pin goes to ground. And uh, when I uh, toggle it up, and what's going to happen is it's going to go back to ground and this connection stops and it goes back to whatever state it was on. So basically, we can use an ESP266 to mimic uh, me going and pressing this push button. So I did some probing around inside the TV. I found that there is a 3.3 volt voltage regulator over here. So I connected one end of this um, uh, wire to this 3.3 uh, volt input, connected that to our ESP8266, found one of these pins to be ground, so I just connected the ground, the ESP8266 ground, and also the ground to the transistor as well. And um, this is just behind that push button. I found this particular uh, probe position and just connected this to the top part of our transistor. So on the ESP8266, there are two different ways to control this. Um, so it turns on, it spins up uh, a web interface. It also connects to the Wi-Fi as well. So you have a soft AP as well as a station AP. And um, all this is is just a web page. And all you do is just hit on this uh, button. And it calls a particular web API, which actually does uh, the turning on and off of this transistor. So this also, uh, the code that I'm using also uses uh, MQTT to connect to a Mosquito server. And uh, this way what happens is uh, we can control this particular switch using uh, MQTT API that you can define. And uh, once you have this defined, then you can create a virtual switch on a home assistant. Why I like to use home assistant is because uh, I can connect uh, different assistants, uh, Alexa, Home, Google Assistant, as well as Siri to uh, connect to Home Assistant and whatever switch I have, I can control it directly without actually adding each one of them here. I just add them to my Home Assistant. It gets updated over to my assistants that I'm using. 
Um, so basically, uh, I'm just going to configure a switch on Home Assistant that just uh, subscribes the topic on the Mosquito server. And it's the same topic that I'm going to use to control uh, my ESP8266, which actually controls the transistor.